Okay, let's take a look at this question here. So we're talking about percentage mass of nitrogen for the overall compound. So we have four different compounds here, and I've put the names beside them just for you to get familiar with some of these compounds that you may not have seen before. So the first compound is N2H4, which is hydrazine. NH3 you should be familiar with, which is ammonia. Um, N2O4 would, might be new to you, that's dinitrogen tetroxide. And NaNO3 is an ionic compound there, and it's sodium nitrate. So in this case, we have to figure out the atomic masses, the relative atomic masses of each element involved in the compound or molecule, and then figure out um, which one has the most nitrogen by, by mass. I just have a little balance up here to show you the, the comp that we're focusing on the concept of mass here. So in the first compound, um, you need to look up the relative atomic masses of each of these elements, and of course you can find that in the periodic table that's given to you at the beginning of paper one. So nitrogen, I'll just write all these over here, has a relative atomic mass of 14. Hydrogen has a relative atomic mass of 1. Now I'm just rounding these to the nearest whole number because when you're doing questions in multiple choice, you don't have a calculator, so you're not typically going to be working with um, relative atomic masses to two decimal places as given to you in your periodic table. Um, then we also have oxygen here, which is a relative atomic mass of 16. Um, sodium, which has a relative atomic mass of 23. So that should be all the four elements that we're looking at here. So in the first question, we have two nitrogens, so that's 2 times 14, plus the four hydrogens, so that's 4 times 1. And that will give you a total mass for that compound there of 32. So with the two nitrogens, that's total mass of 28 over the compound's mass of 32. Um, for ammonia, we have one nitrogen here, which is the 14 is from that. And then we have three hydrogens to give you 14 over 17. So at the moment, it's very close between um, hydrazine and ammonia as to which compound has the most nitrogen by, by mass. In the third compound here, dinitrogen tetroxide, we have 2 times 14 for the two nitrogens here. And we also have 4 times 16 for the four oxygens to give us a total mass for that compound of 92. And for the nitrogens there, of course, we have two of them, so that's 28. So clearly there's not a lot of mass contributed to the overall mass of the compound by the nitrogen here. So we can eliminate this answer straight away. Um, then the next compound down here, ionic molecule, I should say, we have 23 for the sodium, 14 for the nitrogen, and 3 times 16 for the oxygen. So I'll just fix that there. Write that a bit better. So 14 for the nitrogen. So that gives you a total mass for that molecule of 85. And then for the nitrogen, there's only one of them, so it's 14 over 85. So clearly, there's not a lot of contribution to the overall mass by nitrogen. So we can also eliminate that option there, or the fourth answer. So we're now focusing on answer A and B. Now, some people can, at a glance, just identify which one has the most uh, mass um, by looking at the ratio between the number on the top and the bottom. But just to go a step further, uh, we can turn these into actual percentages by multiplying them by 100. Now, if we do that, we get 2,800 on the top here divided by 32. And on this one, in, in the answer B here, we have 14 multiplied by 100 over 17. If you divide those two numbers, for the first one, you'll get 87.5%. And for the second answer, you'll get 82.3%. So we've identified at this stage that the answer is A, just slightly more percentage by mass of nitrogen in compound A.